Hello guys, welcome to Microsoft ASP.NET MVC tutorial on how to use JSON with AJAX and jQuery. Let's start. As first, we are in home controller and in home controller, we are in default home controller. We'll make our action result here with a name Ajax public action result Ajax similarly we will have a view with name Ajax we will return a view from here it's a simple action result let's add a view we'll give it a name ajax and with empty template and user layout page click on add okay in this ajax.cshtml will put some html here let's see what I have added here there is a header ajax let's make it more bigger okay what we have done till now we have just created our action result with name ajax in home controller and uh, we have returned a view and we have created a view with same name of ajax and that view is ajax.cshtml which has title ajax and uh, which has heading ajax and in next line we have a button which has caption load and which has id load button similarly we have next button with caption reset and id reset button and in next we have a uh, image which has id loading image and which source is ajaxloader.gif it is a gif image that is loading image which shows a loading image while loading the data from the server mm, for now we are working on local server it will be fast but for a regular server it will be a nice idea to put a loading image and we will give a style of display none at first that loading image will not be shown when we click on any button while loading the ajax data this mm, image will be shown this loading image will be shown and the loading data will be loaded in this div which has id message loading div now we have a script uh, which works on load button dot click function load buttons click function we have a load button here load button with load caption when a user click on that load button this scripts uh, function load button dot click function will be executed uh, while clicking on that button that loading image will be shown by this line as loading image dot show this will show the uh, show the image which has id loading image and after that when the image is shown we will call our ajax function dollar dot ajax means we are calling a ajax function now this ajax function is of type post which has a url home ajax call home is home controller and ajax call is a action which we will make later and we are not sending any data here and when everything goes right we'll be back to uh, 
success function with uh, server provided data mm, data will be kept in this data variable and after that uh, message loading div will be loaded with data dot message uh, data with a property message will be sent from the server and uh, after that loading image will be hidden and in error function we will say alert something went wrong in controller and we have also a reset button reset button will do just a resetting of that message loading div it will make empty um, that it will make message loading div empty um, by sending nothing to the HTML or it will make empty HTML okay now what uh, what is remaining is we have made a get function of ajax in home controller but this ajax call action is not created yet let's create this ajax call action result okay now we are back to home controller when user first enter into the main page that is ajax.cshtml this action result will be executed first and it will return that ajax.cshtml uh, when the user reaches there and uh, push that button or click on that button we will um, take that ajax call to next action result which will be as follows let's see that next action result next action result we have http post since we have call ajax call with post tag so we have written this http post here okay in next line inside ajax call action result we have a variable named message which have written hello i am from ajax call this message will be displayed in that div Okay, and in next line we have JSON um, with a variable message and this message variable will keep this message um, don't worry about same naming if you are doubt if you have any doubt you can change uh, to capital M for now I am keeping it small it, it will be accepted okay let's check it out loading taking some time while this loads up let's run about this line which I have commented here system dot threading dot thread dot trip 1000 this 1000 means milliseconds a thousand milliseconds means it's one second why I have used this because since we are in local server mm, when we call Ajax function it will execute our tags very fast so that we couldn't see that loading image for long time long time but when we keep that uh, system dot threading dot thread dot slip thousand uh, it will um, pause the uh, pause the server for just one second so that we can see that loading image this is just for demonstration purpose not we do not use this in real world scenario okay let's see we have made action result in home controller mm. home controller Ajax action result 
and we have a heading ajax and two buttons load and reset let's click on load when we click on that load we have seen a uh, image loading image there and a uh, message is displayed here with hello i am from ajax call since i have told you already that we are in local server so when we call any ajax function or ajax call at that time the system will load the uh, message from the server very fast so we couldn't see that loading image here let's see it with removing this comment okay let's run it again loading up while this loads up you see the code again at last we have kept a reset button while clicking on that reset button our message loading div will be empty let's check it again home ajax let's click on load button at this time we must see the uh, loading gif image for one second let's click on load button you can see it yes again reset it it will be height it will be hidden and after clicking on load again you can see it okay in this way we are we can put json in um, asp.net mbc we can use json very easily okay guys thanks for watching